Hey Chevys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Chevrolet, just in case you didn't know. This is mostly a life update for my true supporters i just wanted to keep you guys in the loop on what has been going on or what's going on in my life this video is sponsored by annual lisa shout out for annual lisa for sponsoring this video i am wearing their earrings right now and their necklace like i said throughout the video you're gonna love the packaging also like the fact to get jewelry and a perfect packaging i feel like that completes the order i did a little tiktok to show you guys so you guys could see the items i also included so you guys could see it in depth like do you guys see these earrings i know it's so small you can't really see it but that's how i like it. but it's still making a statement like look at that you see that you guys gonna see that through the ending of the video or throughout the video and let's get straight into the video but hey chevys welcome back I know I've been gone for so long like I don't even know how long I've been gone for like three months but like, I don't like that this is showing like ew so I already drew out my eyebrows already this is not really a makeup makeup tutorial but as I'm talking we're gonna go in so this is I'm gonna use the elf um poreless putty primer and I'm just gonna prime my face. I should have did that while I was fixing my um my baby hairs, but okay, that's a lot, Ashley. But hey, Chevys, how you guys doing? I just dropped my mom off from work, and yes, you guys heard that correctly. Your girl got a car that started from September since I've been gone for about three months. <laughs> I got a job i know i stopped recording when i was graduating and stuff so i graduated yeah it was time to look for a job i already got the job the work started it low-key got hectic for me like i didn't know how i was gonna balance every single thing and it was i was kind of i won't say scared because you know i'm just straight out of college i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do or how i'm gonna move like move around I was doing orientation getting to know the how to do the work when to do the work what i have to do and stuff like that so that was all september so september like you know i work with an agency that's provided by acs so it's a it's called a family therapy rehabilitate rehab prevention program i get cases from people who have an ac an acs case so when you i don't work for acs but if you have an acs case and you're trying to close out your case mostly acs will be like hey we need to show proof that you are a fit parent <laughs> so we're gonna send you to a preventative program it's not mandatory but it's mandatory because that's how i work and that's how they get their name out of the case so legit all i have to do is prevent them from you know doing what happened hold on eyebrows time let me focus but yeah guys legit it's all about just when they have an acs case we are there to prevent them from doing the situation again so say if you have mental health issues i would be the person to recommend to a mental health psychiatric facility i'd be like hey i have a client who wants me um mental health counseling i refer them i do all the re range i'm like a wedding planner basically i'm planning every step of their counseling drug testing parenting classes and those are the some of the um stuff that i do and i just like hey i referred it i set up the appointment or it's either sometimes they would have to set the appointment so i'll be on top of them and be like yo did you call this did you call that did you set up your appointment and then that's it legit and then I just monitor their services and make sure they're doing everything if they need an evaluation I make sure that happens we do meetings to talk about the family how can we improve we see the strongs the strengths and the concerns and the risk and concerns so we do all that just to help the family you know make sure that they're on top of their things so they don't go back to school square one and then another thing what else i do i have to just document everything you know 
If it's not written down, that means it didn't happen. So if you are into the social services, that's their number one rule. If it's not written down, it didn't happen. There are three phases when it comes to my cases, right? There's there's initial phase, there's a baseline phase, and there's a stabilization phase. Hopefully I come to an understanding what that is. So an initial, you know, it's the beginning. I have to see them like four times a week out of the month. So basically once a week, I go see them. And I also got to make contact. I do collateral contacts. Basically, I call their services, make sure that, oh, how we could do this, how we could do that. And if this service provider doesn't work, I could call another service provider. Or And then when they're in baseline, I get more chill. I don't really see them that much. I'm just calling here and single there. Mostly they're getting to baseline when um they're into their provider like when they're into their service provider and they're doing what they need to be doing and once i see you become stabilized then i can move you to stabilization but it doesn't get approved by me it has to be approved by my supervisor and after my supervisor it has to be approved by the team and yeah that's it like i was saying it's also more of um field work where i have to go see him i have to go see them and then sometimes a few days out of the week I have to set set certain days and be like, hey, I'm gonna go see this family today. I'm gonna go see this family, see what they're up to. And since majority of my clients, they have to have kids, that's the only way we'll be able to work with them because you know we are provided by ACS. So that's the only way. So I have to make sure I see the kids all the time. Like I have to make sure they don't have no bruises, no marks, and it's, it may sound like it's ACS, but it's not ACS. Because ACS doesn't care about the family as much. I would have to say, like, they just, they, you know, they just got to find if you did the crime. That's it. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, is that majority of people of my case are my age. Like, they're legit 23 years old with three kids and they're struggling. And I'm not trying to push nobody down, but this is like... Anything can happen, rather, mat, no matter what age you are. And it, it gets difficult. I got cursed at by one of my clients before. So with this job, it really comes with it's good and it's bad. Sometimes you get the good clients and sometimes you get the bad clients. Now the reason why I'm like, oh, my job is so easy and everything. Yes, like I was saying in the beginning, I have to write everything that I do everything or it's not going to show that i'm not working and then we have this database for us acs workers and the preventative that we have to put into inside the beta database and it's not just like oh da 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 one i have to write in third person two i have a template that i have to keep on doing over and over and over every time i make a contact a collateral contact or a casework contact I have to follow that template uh, it's a lot <laughs> like I have to do it all the time so right now I have six cases so imagine I'm seeing six families in one week and I have to write so much so it was hard every time like I would come home and I would want to film it would be hard I would just like take a shower and go in bed and just continue writing my case notes and then fall asleep and do it over and over so for three months it was just so much and I was tired so my type of work was a field work and I was doing it with feet no car I was doing it without no car and stuff like that so it was like I would have to use metro cards and stuff like that it was a lot of work and then to come home and then record a video I couldn't do it the ending of the month of September I was like yeah I gotta go get it I gotta get a, I gotta go get a car I have to go get a car because I can't keep on so I'm not looking at you guys but I can't keep on doing my field work going to work and then another good thing about my job I only have to go into the office twice a week which is perfect I kept on have to wake it up at 6 a.m. just to go to work at night uh, September 25th I went to go get me a car I was so stuck in between getting a Nissan or a, um, a Hyundai like the day before I was gonna get my car legit I took off the Nissan and got me a Honda because I was looking at the Carfax if you get in a car make sure you look at the Carfax I'm looking at the Carfax the transmission on that car broke three times and the New York inspection did not pass on that car twice so I was like hmm 
Ashley, you are new to car. You don't have you you are new to cars. You don't have no family members to help you to see what car to get, what car not to get. So basically, I'm doing this whole research on my own. Nobody's helping me. I'm gonna go with the Hyundai and. I got the car. I was so hyped. I was gonna do the whole process of recording with the car also, but I feel like I didn't need to. Plus, I was not on YouTube and I just didn't want to just come into YouTube and just like, hey, I got a car. And yeah, guys, me and Justin are still together. If you guys don't know who Justin is, he's my boyfriend. Me and him are still together, going strong. Um, I'm still in love with him. You know, that's my bestie. That's my life update, guys. Like, I really don't have nothing else to say. Like, that's all I've been doing. I've just been moving in silence and working. Like, I haven't been doing nothing nothing else. That's... I don't like this color. So... So, guys, I kind of did my makeup off camera. Well, I finished it off camera because it's like... When it's time to do my makeup, I get like so embarrassed and scared to show you guys my makeup. I don't know why. I just, I just do it better when you're not looking. <laughs> also in September, I forgot to mention, a girl's teeth was hurting like crazy to the point where I couldn't even sleep. And I really thought it was my wisdom tooth, which it was probably. But then after three days, it stopped hurting and I didn't make an appointment to the dentist. I didn't even go to the dentist anymore, but... Details with the hair, they did say this is a 22 inch. Now, I'm trying, I did buy a vendor list. Yes, I bought a vendor list. And I wanted to get bundle, I mean, a pre-made wig all by myself. And I wanted to see how these girls who sell wigs be making it and doing it. So, that's another update too. Like, I feel like I want to start my own hair company but i feel like every girl does that and it's like girl you can't say everybody does that but then at the same time everybody do 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 that but i just this is just an experiment i just it's just sometimes i have my car payment and now i got my car insurance car insurance is under my name 23 with my own car insurance in my name now that's i'm a real adult Okay, guys, I finished getting ready and stuff. I really like how I did my makeup. Like, it's super cute, and my hair looks nice. Shout out to Annie Olisa for sponsoring this video. Now, if you guys know, me and Annie Olisa are like this. We've been working together for quite a while. That's definitely the sponsorship brand that I love working with because they always go with my opinion. We negotiate when it comes to how I want to present these items to you guys, and they make me feel free as long as I present them to you. Between November 1st and 17th, they're gonna have the biggest sale of the year. They're gonna have 20% off. Good jewelry at that can be expensive. So the fact that you're gonna get extra 20% off before Black Friday is super amazing. I'm gonna show you some of the items that I got. Now, packaging, and Elisa updated their packaging. You see this nice green color, and the material of this is super structured. Especially when you're done with using your jewelry, you could take them off and put them in a bag. Like, who wouldn't love that? So I got me nice three-piece jewelry. I'm gonna show you guys in a clip, but I am wearing one right now, especially with the earrings and the necklace. We're gonna get a close-up. So I wanted to show you guys a close-up. I'm wearing this beautiful jewelry. As you guys can see, it's like um, a two-piece necklace. So they got the short one and then you got the long one. I felt like this went perfect with the top, so I had to get it. But it's a nice green color. And I'm wearing these cute small earrings. If you know me, I hate huge earrings. I just hate it. Sorry I'm zoomed up, but I just wanted to show you guys. But I just hate huge earrings. And the fact that I have these small little earrings, Earrings, and they still are a staple because even when I'm talking moving my hair you guys can see the earrings and it's bling bling <laughs> the fact that you could go on the go and travel with these items is perfect I did also get one last item from Annual Lisa so I got the earrings and then I got the two necklaces in one it's just so pretty to me and I love the fact that Annual Lisa wraps their the middle of the part that makes the statement of the piece 
and then wrap it up. They even did it to this one. They wrapped it up with a plastic so I it could be safe and secure when it's traveling. I love annual Lisa. Especially there was one item that I did get from them was a bracelet and I still have it today but my mom is using it. Even my mom likes their packaging. Like my mom loves them. Every time I get a piece from them they like oh you gotta give me one and stuff like that. I'm like no like I gotta have jewelry for myself too. So I am wearing this Fashion Nova top and it's like two, three buttons, but I only did two buttons and <laughs> left it right here. This is how the back looks like. It's super cute. Some high-waisted jeans that I got from Fashion Nova also. They're super pretty. I like them a lot. For perfume, I'm definitely gonna go in with my YSL Libre perfume. This is definitely the perfect perfume for when it comes to fall i don't know why it just smells so amazing but yeah guys that concludes the video like right now i'm gonna do like a little montage video on when i went out for dinner period i hope you guys enjoyed this life update my birthday is coming up in december i don't know what to get me my family are good i'm good i got a car life is okay right now i don't want to jinx myself but life is okay i got a car i got a job straight out of college i'm super grateful for that because it's hard to get a job straight out of college but i'm also going to start vlogging so you guys can see a week in my life not all the time but the week of my life for just me going to work and seeing my clients you're not going to see the clients but just what i've been doing i try to do it i was looking crazy <laughs> Don't forget to shop annual Lisa click on my link and then you're definitely gonna see it You're definitely gonna be happy to get that 20% off off the jewelry You don't want to look like you're doing too much, but you're looking like you're doing much But you're doing it so simple so clean so slight like this is how I like my jewelry Don't forget to like comment and subscribe get to know me and I'll get to know you follow me on all my social media Especially Instagram and I see you later Mwah. Thank you.